Lord. Hallelujah. I just want to say happy Mother's Day to our spiritual mother, Pastor Jack, and to all the mothers of Spiritual Christian Center. And we'd like to say happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out here in Facebook, man. Glory, hallelujah. Where would our mothers, where would we be? So we thank God for all the mothers here. We want to welcome you to an exciting experience here at uh, Christian, uh, Spiritual Christian Center. You know, our vision is to carry the good news of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, the grace of God, by Christ alone, to the masses. And you people out there in Facebook land, uh, you've been watching for a while. Come on in here. We ain't right here in here. You know God been talking to you. Come on in here. You've been watching, you've been getting blessed, you know God to talk to you. Come on here and experience God here at Christian, uh, Spirit Amen. 2 Christian Center. Our pastors are Bishop, Victor, and Jacqueline and Creel. We'll be glad to have you in this place today. Y'all ready to worship God this morning? Amen. 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 Thank you for another awesome opportunity to fellowship around your word. Holy Spirit, we invite you in. Do as you choose this morning. We thank you for signs, miracles, wonders that accompany your word this morning. We decrease that you may increase all the more. Let no flesh grow in your presence. It's all of you and none of us. It's by Christ alone. It's by Christ this morning. We pray right now, oh, the man of God who's going to bring forth the word, that you use him as a vessel of clay, that he only speak the oracles of God. We thank you right now for lives being changed this morning. We thank you for those that shall be saved, filled with the Holy Spirit, and coming to the knowledge of the truth. Now, Satan, we say to you, we submit to God and you must flee. We bind you. And Father, we will be so careful as to give you all praise and honor glory in this place this morning. In Jesus' name, y'all give God a shout. Glory to God. Well, y'all give our awesome praise and worship team. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, let's lift our voices in this place. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, O oh God. We just worship and adore you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, O oh God. Hallelujah. What an awesome day it is to be in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. We just give you glory and honor, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. You are holy. You are righteous. You are magnificent, O oh God. In all of your ways. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank amen, you, amen, amen, amen. 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 Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Come on and lift up the name of Jesus in this place. Hallelujah.
just lift your name in this place, oh God. Hallelujah. Worthy is the Lamb of God. Amen. He is a great and awesome God. Mighty is He. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory amen, be to God. amen, amen, amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. He is a great God. Hallelujah. He is a great God. Moving right along. You hear today? And you need prayer with grieving concerning your healing. You can meet us at the altar. The Bible declares in James 5 that if any among you seek, let him call for the elders of the church. Praying over him, anointing him with oil, and the prayer of faith shall save the sick. Yes, Lord. And it also declares he can commit any sins, his sins shall be forgiven. Yes. Thank you, Lord. The Bible declares in 1 Peter 2 24 that by Jesus Christ we are healed. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, you may be having that symptom. All right, but the now. fact of what the Bible says that you are healed, and it has to come out your mouth. It had, you, you have to believe it in your heart. Yes, Lord. Yeah, this is this is a symptom. Yeah, the symptom is there, but by Jesus Christ, I'm here and I'm going yes, to declare Lord. that until my body lines up with what I declare. Yes, Lord. Do we have anyone? But praise God. We are all healthy, wealthy, and wise, including you out there in Facebook land. So, Father, we just bless your name. We honor you. We thank you for Spirit and truth, Christians, and the body of Christ as a whole. We thank you right now for the pastors that you've given us to be a true shepherd of your own heart for feeding us with knowledge and understanding, Lord. And I just thank you right now for everyone that's a part of Spirit and truth, Christians, and the Lord. I declare healing. I might not know the situation, Lord, but you know the situation. For the word says, we know not what we should pray as we all, but the Spirit Himself make it intercession. So, Lord, you know the situation of everyone. I declare healing, Lord. I declare deliverance in Jesus' name. Lord, I even cover our children, Lord, in Jesus' name. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over everyone connected to this ministry. Yes, Lord. Father, we will be so careful as to give you all praise, all honor, and all glory.
Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Uh, the, people don't get that. That don't happen. Yeah. Listen, yeah. listen, yeah. listen. I'm trying to tell you when you point that way, uh, you don't have to look at the numbers. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. I, I wish I had that. I wish I had that. You don't have to look at the numbers I, I, because you get caught up in numbers like David did. <laughs> yeah. 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 You're trying to figure out if we got enough numbers to do it. Thank you, Lord. Uh, I, I think I think the uh, 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 the banking system call it giving units. Thank you, Lord. How many giving units do you have in your church? You know when you get ready to go to the bank and get some money? Yeah, they won't yeah. know how many giving you. Oh, no, you don't understand. We live by the faith of all. Amen. And I, I, I you know, I, I understand God's adding to the church every day. Amen. Amen. As a matter of fact, you said right now, every seat. Every seat is filled. It's filled. Every seat in here. Every seat in here. Amen. Amen. Because he adds to the church daily. Yeah. Such as should be saved. Yeah. And then God doesn't stay with addition. He multiplies. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. Yeah. You, you, yeah. you need some multiplication. Yeah. Boy, I'm telling you. Yeah. Amen. Um, there's some things that are, that are, that are happening, uh, and, and I, I had to, uh, uh, by, by, by uh, uh, the Holy Spirit, ask you, uh, do you know who you are? Okay. Amen. Yeah. I just asked you. Amen. Do you know who you are? I mean, I, I mean, you know, uh, 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 Omar Tivo, he says it best, who the people? <laughs> yeah, we the people. Do, do you know who you are? Yeah. Amen. We, yeah. we are Amen. the people of God. We, Amen. We're the true Israelites. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Listen, listen, listen. If you had not been to 23 of me, just take it from me. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I, I, I got the proof. Amen. 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 <laughs> uh, Minister Andre, he he he, he said, I, I, I got to do it. it. Yeah. I got to do it. And look, he, he, find his post. He put it on. He put it on the book. Yeah. We the people. Yeah. Come on here. <laughs> we the people. We the people. Yeah. Amen. All, all, all the way back to Ramesses three. Amen. Y'all better hear me. Amen. You you, you are the people. So yeah. so yeah. when you read the scripture, you read the scripture now knowing that you are the people. Amen. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Lord. Come come on, talk to me. Yeah. And when you live by faith now, you understand. But you see, it's real important because what he wanted was the people to always hear his voice. Amen. Okay. Yeah. yeah. When Moses went to get the people and bring them out, hear me, church. He said, Moses, what I want you to do is I want you to bring them to this place, to this mountain of Sinai, so I can have a relationship with them. Y'all been talking. Amen. Uh, Listen, when, when you have a relationship, how many of you know you communicate? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That's right. Praise God. That's, yeah. You communicate. Yeah. That's all he wants to do. That's why he says, now I watch this New Testament. Now what I want you to do, people, is wait here for the promise. Okay. okay. Well, what's the promise? The Holy Spirit. Thank you. Holy Spirit, he is the promise yeah. of this new covenant. Amen. And all Holy Spirit does, Jesus said it like this, when he show up, he's going to lead and guide you into all truths and righteousness and show you things to come. You better, you better hear me. Yeah. Amen. So when you hear his voice, now you're living by faith. Amen. Amen. Oh, come on, come Amen. on. Let, 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 Y'all don't let me stop there. Yeah. Oh, no, don't do me like that. Watch this. When you hear and obey what you hear. Amen. Yeah. See, because a lot of people hear, but they don't obey. Amen. Old covenant says, it, 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 you know, you must be willing and obedient. Amen. Yeah. yeah. Did y'all get that? Amen. Yeah. You gotta be what? Willing, willing and obedient. Amen. Amen. You gotta have. You gotta have. You gotta be willing. I, 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 yeah, I'm willing. See, see, some of y'all, uh, you, 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 you drug that. You, you know what I mean? You gotta drag you to. <laughs> you know, you're not willing. Yeah. I don't, you don't make the pain. I don't like it. <laughs> you plotting on me, boy. Listen, listen. Uh, uh, some of you have to be drugged to it. Wow. But you need to be both what? Willing. Come on, say it to me. Take it to you. I'm willing. I'm willing. And I'm obedient. And I'm obedient. And I'm obedient. Thank you, Lord. Lord, if you need somebody, here am I. Amen. Send me. Amen. You have, you you must be willing and obedient. Thank you, Lord. You must be willing. Uh, uh, some people are trying to figure out why why this thing not working like it ought to work. Well, you got to be willing and obedient. Amen, thank you, Lord. Yeah. A amen. Amen. I said, Amen. 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 Uh, uh, you you know, uh, 
Some of you are struggling to get back in at 8 o'clock. <laughs> but if you if you willing and obedient, you're gonna roll out. Oh Amen. God. Amen. <laughs> Ooh, somebody help me. Give me some coffee. Something. <laughs> but you must be both willing and obedient. Amen. Amen. I, I I want you to, and I, I say this from my heart. I want you to understand that you have to live by faith. Amen. 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 So so watch this. From, from from last week, I said it on last week, and I'm going to reiterate this as often as possible. Everything you get, you must get by faith. Amen. Yeah. Amen? Amen. So, so, did you hear what I said? Yeah. Amen. Amen. What did I say? Yeah. Yeah. Everything yeah. we get, 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 by by faith. Faith. get by faith. Okay, okay. Now, a uh, uh, quick little story before I get in my word. Uh, Ed Dufresne, I believe is his name. Ed Dufresne came to Harvest Church in Mobile years ago. Uh, Ross Roberts was the pastor. And I'm sitting there, and Ed is talking, and he says, you got to live by faith. You have to learn how to live by faith. Now, I wanna, I, I've want i already taken the pressure off you. It's not your faith. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Now, now, the Hebrews tell us that Jesus is the author and the finisher of faith. Of faith. Okay, because you already know the word I should not be there. Right, right. Amen. So he is the author and finisher of faith, flat out. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Period. 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 <laughs> With the teeth. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So if he's the author and the finisher of faith, that's the faith we live by. Right. Amen. Amen. Okay. Well, what about my faith? We've already answered that question. You put your faith in him for salvation. Yeah, Amen. Come on now. I, I, I believe Jesus for my salvation. Yeah. I believe Jesus for my righteousness. Yes. Amen. 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 And I'm depending on Jesus and his finished work for my shoes. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. For my socks. Amen. Amen. For my undies. Amen. Amen. Is, is that good word, undies? The dun the dun. <laughs> that was Paul called. Listen, 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 listen. I'm depending on him for now. See, you talking about shoes and socks. You, you, you got the means. Amen. Oh, if if, if you if you if you miss if you missed the, the zoom on Wednesday night, you missed it. You missed it. See, uh, 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 Mr. Fred said it like this on Wednesday night. Are we doing it because we're able or because we're called? Amen. Woo. Glory to God. Amen. Uh, listen. Uh, uh, some of us have the means to buy socks. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I can. You listen, listen. You you walk in. Watch this, lady. You you walk into the store and and, and then there's the Brahmin. Now you check your your your, your account. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I have enough money to buy it. Yeah. And 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 I'm trying to get you to build your faith to trust in God. Why don't, you, why don't you say, Lord, I'm, I'm believing you for a brahma. Amen. 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 Hmm. Watch the money come in supernaturally. Amen. Amen. I know you got it. Amen. But but here's what Ed said. Ed said he was in at, uh, at Raymond Bible College. Mm -hmm. And so they were, they, they were teaching on faith and Ed said uh, he needed blue socks. And he 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 prayed because he had had the money and could go and bought the socks. But he prayed and said, "Lord, I'm believing you for those blue socks. I don't have any blue socks. Uh, everything I have is a different color. I need blue, and so I'm trusting you. Simple now for socks, blue yeah. blue socks, socks. Mm -hmm. And he 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 began to uh, uh, thank God. He prayed and thank God. I believe I received my blue socks. Mm -hmm. And so every time he would get ready to put his socks and shoes on, it would hit him that he don't have blue socks. So he would say, Father, I want to thank you that when I prayed yesterday, when I prayed last week, yes, when I prayed two weeks ago, thank you, Lord. I, I want to thank you. I believe I received my blue yeah, socks. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. I, 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 I received, I, I, and then he says, man, uh, he started telling folks, you know, I, I got some blue socks. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Acting like you already had. <laughs> you, you know, just in a ca casual conversation, it would it come up, and then he would say, "I 
I believe I got blue socks. Blue socks. And, and then he, he gets a phone call. He said, listen, uh, somebody, I don't know who it was, can't remember, it's been so long ago. He said, listen, uh, uh, the person said, uh, we're sending you a package in the mail. Be on the lookout for it. He said, he, he said okay, what, what is it? He said, well, uh, just some stuff that mama put together and, and, and just be on the lookout for you. We, we just felt like you needed this. So he, he opened the packet when it come, and it's a, a, a couple of pair of pants, a couple of pair of shirts, and, and you know, some other things. And, and at the very bottom, come on now. a pair of blue socks. <laughs> See, you have to learn how to live by the faith. Oh, listen, it's not just because you have the means, because, I, like I said, there are some things that I've done in the past, had the means, and then something came up, and what I spent would have fixed that that came up. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Listen, start living by faith for everything that you get. Yes. Amen. 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 That's why. That's why I got your pointing again. Yeah. Amen. Yes, Lord. Glory to God. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I have you opening your mouth again. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 Because listen, when this thing is done back here, you're gonna be so uh, uh, blessed by it. When it's when it's all finished, glory to God. When we when we when we have that brand new parking lot over there, it's gonna be so, you're gonna be so blessed. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Are you hearing me? Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So 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 you live by faith every day. Amen. Every day. I I, I was thinking. Uh, I, I don't tell you I'm a project right now, <laughs> but I, I got I got a, I got a faith project that I've been kind of. Toying with. You know how sometimes you get something and it's nice, real nice, mm -hmm. but you really wanted the other thing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'm, 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 me and Lord talk. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> she can, she can, uh, we tr trade that out. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. 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 I said, amen. Amen. Come on, listen, 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 listen. He, uh, the blessing of the Lord makes rich, make rich, and add no sorrow. Yeah, yeah. Now, now, now Mr. Hill, he loved that scripture, boy. He loved that scripture. Listen, it, uh, hard work won't add to it. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Listen, we're we gonna stop breaking our backs for things. Bumping our heads for things. Amen. Wringing our hands for things. Amen. He says, now, what I've done is, I've given you all things. No, no, no. no. I want you to richly Rich. to enjoy. That, 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 that. I know you're giving us all things that pertain to life and God, but I want you to get that richly. Amen. And, and, and notice here, all things richly to enjoy. So he put you in a place where you're joyful. Amen. Oh, y'all be getting that. Y'all get it. You put you in a place where you're joyful. Amen. Ah, glory to God. When you're joyful, you better look out because just a little bit make it run over. Amen. Woo! Oh, glory to God. Listen, listen. The most high has put us in a place. Listen, you, you're the people. But listen, listen, hear me real good. Everybody's struggling now. <sighs> yesterday, yesterday at, at, at a funeral. I'm hearing the most high talk. Yeah, yeah, amen. And, and you know the you know the story in Luke where it says there was a certain man who had two sons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, come on, somebody. Yeah. The certain man had how many sons? Two. Mm -hmm. Now, now, see, this is this is why we can't get caught up in some of the Hebrew Israelite, Israelite stuff where we hate people. Amen. 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 Y'all, y'all better get this. Y'all better get it. Because he has how many sons? Two, two, two sons. And the younger son came to him and said, listen, you need to give me my portion. Yeah. It's time for me to hit the road. He gathered everything and ran off. And you know he wasted on riotous living, got in a, uh, uh, in a bad situation in the hall pen, yeah, but he came to himself. Come on. Yeah, listen, man. listen. Don't you see that's us? Amen. On, my God. Came to ourselves. Yeah. Don't, oh, don't you see that's us? Amen. 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 Don't you see that the real people say, give me my stuff, I'm running off and leaving you. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Amen. Amen. And, Amen. And wasted what he gave us. Yeah. Now, but I'm telling you, we come to 
ourselves. Amen. And when we're on our way back to the Father, he said, that's my bar right there. He on his way and he put a shoes on your feet. Amen. Now he's showing you that you're not inferior. You are Amen. somebody. Y'all better hear me. Amen. But, but check out that other song. Hear me. Check out that other song. I've been here all this time and you ain't giving me what, what, what. Now, let me bring you to 2021. If you hear in the, in the news, why are you giving them that? They don't need that. Amen. Uh, yeah. Counter racism suit. Uh, uh, what is that what you call it? Uh, 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 you know, when you, when, when, when you, 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 discrimination. Kind of discriminate. Listen, don't give them black farmers all that money. Yeah. Everybody ought to have it. Yeah. Yeah. When the government used the government to cause black farmers to lose everything they had, wasn't nobody crying then. Amen. Amen. Oh, why you want to give them all this money? Uh, let them go to work. This is your brother. Come on, man. This is my son, which was dead. Look at the Lord. Do it, Lord. Yeah. Do it, Lord. And he's alive again. Thank you, Lord. Bring him a robe. You better, you better watch this. Lord. You better watch this. That he put some robes on you. Do it, Come on, Hebrews. He put Lord. some robes on you. Do it, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Put a ring on his finger. Listen, everything that you wasted before, I'm going to give you a second chance. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Because you didn't come to yourself now. And notice here, he says, I'm going to the Father's house. And I'm, listen, listen, watch us, watch us. Listen, listen, Hebrews, hear this. I'm going to the Father's house. And I'm going to tell him I've sinned against heaven and I've sinned in thy sight. All I need you to do is make me one of your servants. He said, boy, you're crazy. Hmm. My God. You are some servants. Listen, listen, we had settled for being servants. Servants, yeah. Yeah. We had a mindset that we are nothing but servants, and as long as we can get just a little bit to get by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You better use your the faith of the Son of God. Amen. Amen. Ooh, I told I told Mr. Hill yesterday I couldn't hardly sit there. I said, "Will you listen at that?" I, you know what? I've heard that preach so I don't know how many times, but I had no idea that we were the one that ran on yeah. and wasted everything. Wow. Amen. Come on, listen. We were His people. That's right. We are His people. Amen. We were we were in a place. Where he always wanted to fellowship with us. Yeah. We are the people. Amen. And the people should live by faith, not just listen, listen, Thank listen. <clears throat> Don't just move out the neighborhood because you got the means. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's what we do. Yeah. <laughs> And that, that, that ain't nothing, nothing wrong with you moving up in the, uh, to the upscale neighborhood if that's what you want to do. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, did you do that by faith? Yeah. Wow. Or you just said, sick of my people, let me go take what I got. Yeah. And, <laughs> come on. Come on, we're we, we coming back together. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. Listen, you hear in the news all the time about black on black crime. But you don't hear about white or white brown. Yeah. <laughs> and it has been st statistically proven Amen. when people are murdered, they're murdered by people they know. Yeah. Amen. For the most part. Very seldom is it random. So that means white people kill white people. Right. Hispanic people kill Hispanic people. Amen. And black people kill black people. Amen. But you only hear black on black brown. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Or him. Now, now, I don't know why I'm over here. I, I, I don't know why I'm over here. But, but, but what I need you to understand is you need to know who you are. Amen. And when you start praying, you pray like you know who you are. That you are the people of God. Amen. 
And then, then, then watch this, watch this. When you understand you are the people of God, there are certain things that you just don't do. Amen. 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 There are just certain things that you don't put up with. Amen. Amen. You can help me. I, I'm, I'm, I'm all right right now. But, but, but watch this. There's certain things that you just, you no, know, we don't do that. I'm, I'm, I'm chosen of God. Listen, listen. We already told you the reason why you're chosen. You were chosen to give birth to the Messiah. Amen. Amen. It was, it was your bloodline. Come on, Judah. Amen. Yahuda. Yeah. Why do you think all these black folk putting their name Huda on there? Because they know they come from that tribe. Yeah. Amen. Oh, you hear me? Yeah. It was Judah that was chosen to give birth to him. Amen. And it's Judah that was chosen to declare him to the world, yeah. to Amen. introduce him to the world. Yeah. So how can you introduce him when you live in all will and living? Oh, glory to God. Listen, we, we understand the grace of God, don't we? Amen. It's by grace we're saved, not by words, at least any man should boast. Amen. Yeah. So that saving grace is the same grace that keep me from the drugs, Amen. that keep me from the alcohol. Amen. It's the Amen. same grace Amen. that keep me from cussing. Amen. It's the same grace that keep me from hatred, backbiting, Amen. and all that other stuff. Anything you name that's contrary to the will of God, it's by that grace that I no longer in I'm no longer involved in that. Yeah. Amen. 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 Oh, I need to get to my message. I need to get to my message. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. So everything you get, you get by faith. Amen. 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 So, so, so here's your test. Here's your test. You, you, you got something you want. You've been thinking about. Amen. You've been eyeing. Amen. It's, it's not an emergency, right? Amen. Amen. Let's believe God for it. Amen. Let's, let's, let's faith it in. Amen. 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 And I want to hear the testimony. Amen. Amen. I want to hear the testimony. So, 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 so we already know how to do it. Uh, so, so what we did was we, we we gave you four things which I I, I deemed the foundation of faith, right? Mm -hmm. Deemed foundation of faith. Number one was uh, what is faith? Number one, what is faith? Hebrews eleven and one uh, amplified Bible said is the title D. Mm -hmm. Amen. So faith is what. So, 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 uh, Sister Glow, uh, the, the, the shoes, uh, you got the title deed to them. Amen. Amen. I, I had to measure Glow by the shoes. Uh, so, 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 the, you have the title deed. Amen? Amen. So, so, you understand when you have title to something. Yeah. It's yours. You, when you have a title or something, you can be a crazy person and go down to the title alone place. You can be an absolute just crazy fool and go down to the title alone with your title and say, listen, give me some money. You, you know that's foolishness, right? You, you know rent on this foolishness, right? I'm going to try to help my people. You, you, you know that's, that we keep it rent on folks going. All you have to do is save you some money, go to Walmart, get a TV. Amen. Amen. Every time, did you notice? Did you notice every time uh, we got a stimulus check, TVs went on sale at Walmart? Are <laughs> 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 oh, you hearing me? We uh, we we were visiting. A, I'm, I'm, I'm a, boy, I'm just so glad to be back with y'all. I'm, I'm preaching like I want to. Look, uh, we were visiting one of our cousins. She got this 75, 85 inch TV on the wall. And she had the, 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 the hookup guy, the no wires and all that. So, boy, that's a beautiful screen. And I said, man, that's a nice TV. Got some money. I might need to buy me a TV. Then he said, all the, the Holy Spirit, all your TVs work. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we got so excited about that TV situation, even Pastor Jackie jumped in. Well, what we can do is <laughs> we can take the TV in the living room put it in the bedroom. Take the one we got in our bedroom, put it in the guest room over there where your mama is sleep at because you know that TV kind of small and she getting kind of old. She need to be able to see. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like no, devil, not so lie. You know, when all these TVs work. We ain't got no TV. I'm gonna do something else with my stimulus money. Now see, she, she trying to say she don't remember that. I remember that. <laughs> Amen, somebody. Amen. 
Right. So, 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 listen, listen. You live by faith and, and stop doing stuff crazy. No, number two, number two, we, 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 we want to know where does faith come from or how do I get it? So Romans 10, 17 says, faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So faith doesn't come by having heard. So the more you hear it, the more you build your faith. Yeah. The more faith is solidified. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Amen, somebody. Oh, really, God. Watch this. Number three, how do, I, how do I release or activate my faith? Mark chapter 11, verse 22 through 26. He says, if you have faith. Faith in God, you can speak to something, a mountain, and tell it to be removed, and it'll obey you just like he spoke to the fig tree, and it withered. So that's how I activate or release my faith yeah. with my mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen? So we said, uh, uh, Charles Capps oh, uh, couldn't find anything better. It, it, it's setting the thermostat. Yeah. Woo, glory to God. Now, now Braylon just helped me. And, and I, you know, I was I was kind of foolish to say I'm I'm okay, but boy, that feel good. <laughs> See, he just went in there and set the thermostat, yeah. and that unit went to work. Yeah. Come on, somebody, Amen. yeah. Glory to God. Now, now check this out. The unit's not going to stop until it gets to the desired temperature. Desi yeah. you you got it? The desired temperature. So so watch this. When do I stop seeing it? When do I stop? calling it and when it show up glory to God because some people say well how long Lord and when Lord I'm telling you if you have the title deed you act as though it's already done it's already 65 degrees in here yeah. amen yeah. Woo. amen what you know <laughs> praise God y'all like saying I can't stand saying she got these lights on me Y'all looking at me strange sometimes? I need some air. <laughs> number four, number four. The God kind of faith will always be tried. James chapter one, verse two through eight. But he says, you know, you ought to call it all joy when you fall into divers temptations, tests, and trials. Because the trying of your faith work of patience and let patience have her perfect work so you'll be entire, complete, lacking nothing. Amen? The God, listen, if, you, if, if, it, if you're not being tested, it's not by faith. Not the God kind. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? If, listen, listen. I, I, need you to know, I need you to know this as well. You have to have a word or advice because here's what Mr. Fred said on, on, on Wednesday night. And and, and you know me, from now on, this is my saying. Uh, he said, you got to have a foundation. You, you have to have what? A foundation. Listen, listen, I, I believe it's uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, uh, 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 chapter 3, verse 10 or 11 says, uh, Paul says, uh, uh, 10 says, I'm a master builder. And because I built... Uh, on this foundation, and there is no other foundation than Christ. Now, now get this, because the word foundation, according to Minister Fred, it, it means advice and purpose. Amen. Woo! Glory to God. I get all my advice from Yahshua. I, I, I find my purpose from Yahshua. Jesus is my advisor. Jesus shows me my purpose. And I build on what Jesus says, what Jesus has done, what Yahshua, let, let, let me help you with the terminology. Jesus, his name is Yahshua. Amen? Yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah. But now, now, now watch this because there are some people that would turn me off uh, on social media because I say Jesus. They, 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 they say the J didn't exist and all that kind of stuff. Amen. But but watch this. Yahshua is Jesus. Jesus is Yahshua. He is the Messiah. Amen. Amen. There is no other name Amen. Yeah. Yeah. whereby men might be saved Amen. but by the name of Jesus. And I want you to understand this. My mother named me Victor Antonio Crear. But every time you say Bishop, I answer. Amen. Yeah. Right. Amen. Same person. 
Yeah. 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 Come on through, Lord. Yeah. Same verse. Are you hearing me? Terminology. Watch this. The Most High is Yahweh. Yah. Yeah. Yeah. But again, <laughs> I got. Watch Y'all don't know this. Y'all. Some of y'all don't know this. When I went to college, I was given a name. Probably some people on social media know that name. <laughs> Jokey. <laughs> if I'm walking across the street somewhere and somebody holler out Jokey, get what I'm going to do. <laughs> so when you say, Yah, Yahweh, when you say God, when you say the Most High, Don't get caught up in that foolishness. Amen. Don't get caught up in that foolishness. Yeah. We know who we are. Amen. That's right. We know whose we are. Yeah. Amen. Who the people? We, we the people. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got to find my own saying, but that's so good, isn't it? Who the people? We the people. It's unbelief. That kept our people Israel out of the promise. Yeah. yeah. And here's what unbelief is. When you don't trust the goodness of God. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. A a amen, somebody. Yeah. Now, now, now watch this, because he, he also has this side where uh, consequences come for action. Did y'all get that? Amen. He's good all the time. When you don't trust in his goodness, you open yourself up to his wrath. Yeah. My God. Yeah. Hello? Yeah. See, that's why, that's why uh, sometimes we waste a lot of time telling people uh, the grace of God didn't give you a license to sin. You know that. Amen. And the person who came up with that junk know that. They knew it. He's not giving us a license to sin. We've always taken license. Amen. <laughs> Come on. Uh, listen, 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 listen. I'm going to do this. Amen. I, I don't, I, yeah, I'm going to say I don't know about you, but you too. <laughs> you, you have said it. Amen. I, I'm going to do this. Amen. Come on. I, I, listen, I, I, li listen. It, it, it's better to get uh, forgiveness later. Amen. Amen. Huh? Say again. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to do that. But it's unbelief that kept our people, Israel, out of the promises. And that same unbelief will keep us out of the promises. And the unbelief is when you don't trust the goodness of God. Listen, 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 hear me real good. When God says don't do something, that's goodness. Amen. 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 Y'all hear you going Amen. on. Amen. When God says don't do this, it's for your protection. Amen. That's his goodness. Amen. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. When he said don't be a tail bearer, that means he's trying to protect you. Yeah. Amen. 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 When he, whatever it is, it's his goodness. Listen, listen. Listen, you can eat from any tree in this garden. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Just don't eat from that one in the midst of the garden. Yeah. Amen. That was for their protection. Amen. That was God's goodness. Amen. Yeah. Watch this. God's so good that he says, I got to kick you out, but let me set up a system here before I kick you out. I'm going to call some bloodshed to cover you. You better hear me. Before I put you out, I'm going to cause bloodshed because you use leaves. You tried to use these fig leaves to cover your mess. Your mess can only be covered by a sacrifice that is a blood sacrifice. You better hear me. That's why Jesus said, for this cause did I come. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm trying to get to this faith thing. 
you have to understand all that he's done, why he's doing it, why he said that. Amen? Amen. Amen. Even down to the dietary laws. I keep saying that. You, you, you make sure that uh, you watch what you eat. Amen. 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 Somebody's blood pressure will go down. Amen. <laughs> Are you hearing me? Amen. Now, I wrote this, and I want you to write this down. There are some problems which come uh, with living by faith. There are some problems that come with living by faith. There are some problems that come with living by faith. You got that? There, there, there are problems, some problems that come with living by faith. Number one is it attracts the enemy along with the promises. Uh, have no doubt, have no doubt that the, the enemy hates God's people. Mm -hmm. Did you get that? Yeah. How, how, how you know? How you know? Because from, from the time Adam and Eve was kicked out of the garden, he'd been trying to kill them. Amen. Yeah. yeah. Hello? Amen. Amen. What, what, what happened, call lady? Well, I'm glad you asked. Uh, Amen. What happened was, he said, uh, you're going to bruise her heel, but she's going to crush your head. Yeah. Her seed. Oh, y'all better hear me. You better hear me. Her seed going to crush your head. You, you may bruise her, her heel, but her seed going to crush your head. And when he see you, he see the seed. Amen. If you be Christ. Amen. Yeah. Then are you Abraham's seed. Oh, glory to God. So the enemy hates God's people because God made promises to his people, gave grace to the Gentiles, but promises to us. Amen. Woo! Glory to God. Listen, listen. And all his promises are yay and amen. Yes and so be it. So you in line for all the promises. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. If he promised something, you can have it. Amen, Lord. And so the enemy, it, when you start living by faith, he shows up immediately. He comes immediately to steal that which was sown. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's a problem that comes with living by the God kind of faith. He is going to show up. Amen. <laughs> wow. Hello? Yeah. Amen. Can, can I help you this morning? Amen. Amen. Now, 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 go, go with me to uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 10. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. Somebody say amen in this place. Amen. Well, Y'all still here? You're going home. We here. L listen, listen, listen. Uh, uh, he's coming, but I want you to know that uh, Jesus said when he comes, he won't find nothing in me because I don't have anything to do with it. Yeah, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't do what he do. Yeah, amen. I, I don't deal with his stuff. Come on, talk to me now. Amen. You watch, watch your living. Consider your ways. Amen. Amen. Uh, did did y'all get that? Amen. First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. There has no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that you may be able to what? Watch, watch, watch the new living. Watch the new living. New living says the temptations in your life are no different from what others experience. Mm -hmm. So everybody go through it. Okay, right. Everybody go through it. Listen, don't make no excuses about it's not working for you. Okay. Amen. Uh, don't, don't, don't make any excuses about when you don't know what I'm dealing with. Don't you dare say, you don't know what I have to go through. Yeah. Oh, you don't know. My, my, my spouse is worse than any other spouse. <laughs> well, I, I, listen, listen, listen. I, I just had to do, no, 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 no. You don't have to do anything but understand that when you start living by faith, that's when folk act up the most. Yeah. Amen. 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 
When you start declaring by faith that these children living for the Lord, that's when they cut up the most. Amen. Come on, teach. Amen. When you start living by faith, listen, I'm tithing, I don't care what happened, I'm giving, I don't care what happened, then the refrigerator stopped refrigerating. Amen. 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 Because the promises and living by faith attracts both the promises and the enemy. But don't you dare think that it's any different for you than it is for anybody else. Amen. Come on, bitch. Amen. Yeah. Are you hearing me? All of us go through the same thing. It's common unto man. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yours may not smell like mine, but they both stink. Amen. Amen. I need a little clean, bitch. <laughs> we don't have to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> New living again, please. The temptations in your life are no different from what others experience. And God is faithful. And God is faithful. He, he does not change. There's no shadow of turning in him. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And my mother used to sing a song, There is no secret what God can do. If he's done it for others, he'll do it for you. You better hold on to that, that he's faithful. Listen, I know you're having trouble at your house, but God is faithful. I, I know something going on on the job, but God is faithful. There may be some stuff going on in your body, but God, I mean, the most high is faithful. Faithful. He said, listen, I couldn't find nobody greater to swear by, so I swore by myself. Amen. Listen, in blessing, I'm going to bless you. In multiplying, I'm going to multiply you. And everybody that bless you, I'll bless them. And for him who curse you, I'll curse. I'll take it. Vengeance is mine, say, so I'll handle that situation. Turn it around. Even in the midnight hour, when you wake up, I'll give you new mercy. So you believe you can come, go on just a little bit. I'm not in no way tired. I feel like I can go on now. Why? Because my God is faithful. My God is faithful. If he said it, he'll bring it to pass. If he spoke it, he'll make it good. He's not a man that he should lie. Amen. Amen. My God is faithful. Amen. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Amen. So if you going through, if your cousin going through, if boo boo them going through, comfort them and let them know God is faithful. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. He's faithful. Yes. Watch this. Watch this. And God is faithful. He will not allow. The temptation to be more than you can stand. When you are tempted, he will show you a way out so that you can endure. So when the temptation comes, the way out comes. They can't come separate. They got to come together. You just got to slow down. You got to stop all that crying. You got to stop all that running around and scratching your head and not sleeping. You just need to stop and say, okay, Lord, I know you done done something. So show me what you've done because they have to come together. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Yes. That's why trouble don't last always. You got to be able to identify the way out. Yes. Yes. And you can't identify, identify the way out if you're not praying. You can't identify the, identify the way out if you're not in the word. Amen. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Listen, one of the biggest weapons you have is, and, and I'm going to go look at that. Yep. And, and it's not a carnal weapon, but it's praying in the Holy Ghost. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Don't you give up that. Amen. You remember, Minister, we did a moratorium right here on praying in the Holy Ghost? George Gates was here and he was talking all that stuff. And, well, let's stop and go for, to the scripture ourselves. And we found out that you, listen, that's a gift from God. Amen. Yeah. And the gifts of the Spirit are given to all to profit with all. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. If you want to profit, you better be praying in tongues. Amen. Thank you, Lord. 
You won't be able to, uh, because the way out is there. Amen. The way of escape shows up with the trouble. Listen, listen, don't you dare be con uh, uh, controlled by trouble because in this life you'll have trouble. But my God, is, oh, be of good cheer because I've overcome this world for you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. It's already done. Thank you, Lord. You talk about I got trouble. Yeah, me too. <laughs> but it don't have me. Come on now. Amen. It don't have me. That's the way out. Amen. Oh, Amen. That's the way I, I, I'm telling you, I'm going to show you in the scripture before the day over with how you can get out of anything. The most Amen. difficult situation, faith will get you out of it. Amen. Oh, glory to God. I, I, I used to hear Fred Stevens Jr. say, this gospel, this gospel will get you in trouble, but this same gospel will get you out. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Are you hearing me? Amen. Look for it. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. So you, you, you have to know, number one, it attracts the enemy as well as the promise. Amen. Is that all right? Amen. Now, it attracts the enemy more so because it's your confession. If, if, if you are confessing God's word, uh, it draws the enemy. You keep your mouth closed, you're not going anywhere. And he knows it. Yeah. Hello? Yeah. And so he'll show up to attack to make you keep your mouth closed. Amen. <laughs> Listen, when you confess the word, you set the thermostat. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. The attack comes, you go and move the dial. Yeah. Yeah. Keep the thermostat set. Yeah. I believe I received my blue socks. Keep speaking. Amen. <laughs> Now I don't know how many minutes, how long it took Ed to get those blue socks, but he kept saying, "Listen, we see it, we see it, we see it right there in the, in the Gospels. Uh, uh, I think it's in, the, in Mark chapter six. He's, there's a woman with an issue of blood, and she said, if I could but touch.' Amen. Yeah. And it, the, I, I believe it's the Amplified Bible called it that says, "If I could but touch," she said, and kept saying, "Amen." Faith comes by hearing and. Here. Continuously. Thank you, Lord. If I could but touch. You, you remember my Polaroid yeah. from last week? Yeah. I, I, man, I know I pointed at that house. But I just, uh, what the heck is it? Yeah. Yeah. Ain't nothing on this Polaroid. But you get some air. Yeah. <laughs> you get some time. Yeah. Woo, glory to God. Now, I still can't. <laughs> Yeah, you 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 just keep you just keep calling like the unit calling. Yeah. Well, I can hear. I can hear. Uh, Not only can I hear, I can feel. Really. Isn't that something? Isn't that something? Why it's working to get you the desired temperature? You can feel it cooling off while you. Amen. It, it, isn't that something? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> God, listen. That thing. I, I, they will get a little bit better as I go. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Oh, glory to God. Watch this. As you confess today and you start confessing tomorrow, you feel something. I, I mean, it, it's not it's not always a tangible thing, but I, it's it's like something in the atmosphere. Glory to God. Yeah. Amen. Because I'm walking with God every you know, every time I open my mouth and confess, I'm walking with him. Amen. You know, you know, you know how, how Adam did every day? Walking. Listen, it wasn't Adam that 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 uh, he Satan went to, it was Eve. Amen. He knew. Amen. Satan knew. Don't go to him. <laughs> go to the one that God told him to tell stuff to. Because oftentimes, uh, he will leave stuff out that we supposed to tell you. Amen. Wow. Amen. Oftentimes, we'll put it in our own words. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Oftentimes, when your husband tells you something, it don't resonate right away until you say, well, the Lord told me. Amen. Amen. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying. I'm trying. That boy. That's, that, is that a family month thing right now? <laughs> mm, yeah, yeah. A little bit. But watch this. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. <laughs> the, the scripture says that the husband is the head. Of the wife. 
like Christ is. Yeah. And you're always questioning what he's saying. Now you 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 know you've been with the man for a while. <clears throat> and you know by now. If when he say, well, the Lord said this, I'm gonna do such and such, it it work or don't. But you gotta you gotta make sure he on, on top of the thing every time. You don't give him no break. <laughs> <laughs> don't laugh, guys. You you y'all stay with me. Amen. Y'all stay with me. I need your help right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I got you, bitch. Yeah, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But but God gave you that man to protect and provide. Amen. Amen. And you always question, I gotta go to the Lord myself for that. And, and mm -hmm. get what he said. <clears throat> man, please. <laughs> Boy, bye. <laughs> and thank God you have a godly man. Because he's gonna do what he's gonna do anyway. Because he now he, he learned because fun with you that he got to do it as unto the Lord because yeah. he can't just do it as unto you because you'll 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 make him back up. Yeah. You'll make him start having thoughts about I ain't doing nothing for that heifer no more. <laughs> <laughs> That's not my sermon. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not. By the inspiration of the Holy Ghost. It's, it's, it's amazing how you won't honor your head. You test your head more than you honor your head. And God says, listen, I'm not, I'm not, it's not good for you to be alone. I'm going to give you somebody. So you were made for him. Amen. No, no, no. Come on, guys. Come on. Amen. Let me out right there. Yeah. She was made for you. Amen. Amen. Yeah, that's right. Amen. Let me look at all this. You were made for him. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know him. You don't know the one I got. <laughs> oh, I'm preaching real good this morning. I'm preaching real good this morning. I, 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm pretty real good. Listen, listen, listen. You, 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 you. This thing's gonna work real good. See, because that's how Satan got in. Amen. Come on now. That's what I was telling you. It, it wasn't that uh, nothing happened until he ate. Yeah. Yeah. So either he didn't communicate well, or she didn't listen well, because she was the one that said we can't even touch it. She added that. Yeah. So, 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 I, what you're trying to do is you're trying to make a sensitive man when God didn't make sensitive men. Amen. Oh God. Yeah. 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 All sensitive. No, 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 no. Listen, he's gold oriented. What we got to do. I'm going to get that done. Oh, can you stop and make fix this? No, I'm trying to do this. You, you, you make it pretty. You make it pretty. Stop, stop trying to make these sensitive men. Amen. <laughs> no, I'm going to say that. No, no, I'm going to say it. 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 You talk too hard to people. Oh man. Oh. <laughs> Is it too hard when you hit the light switch and it work? <laughs> when you open the fridge of freighter and it fool? <laughs> when you turn the key and it run? Yeah. Yeah. Is that is that faith? No, that ain't that Yeah, yeah, that's faith.
<laughs> and then and then you can use all the sarcasm you want to when you say something. And that's just the way women are. That's just, I, I ain't did nothing. I ain't said nothing. What I need to apologize for, I was just telling you the truth. I, I, I'm going to always tell you the truth. <laughs> And, but we can't say nothing back to that. The devil is like, we're going to start saying stuff back. We're going to start saying stuff back. It happens on that. Yeah, watch this. It, it, it's your confession that, that draws the enemy. But it's your refusal to quit confessing the word. It's your refusal to change the, the thermostat that defeats him. Amen. 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 James chapter 4, let's go there, let's go there. I, 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 yeah, let, let me go there. Uh, Amen. Um, because we, we, we <laughs> pray God. James chapter 4, James chapter 4, uh, uh, glory to God. Amen. Is that all right? Y'all all right? Yeah. All right. Don't change the thermostat. Don't, don't, don't change. It, it's, it's your refusal to quit confessing. And, and it's your refusal to change the thermostat that will defeat him. Amen. Oh, glory to God. It, man, when you, when you make up your mind, that, that, that's it. Uh, I told you, uh, Bishop Ronald Moten says it like this. When you make up your mind to wait forever, you won't have to wait long. Amen. 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 James chapter 4. James chapter 4. Um, verse 6. Verse 6. But he giveth more grace, wherefore, he saith, God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. Mm -hmm. Did you hear that? He, he, he resists the proud. Uh, uh, when you go after it your way, you become proud. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, listen, I've been confessing, ain't nothing happening, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to make it happen. Yeah. I got this. That means you are proud. He gives grace to those who are humble, but he goes to war against those who are proud. God puts on his armor when you get in pride. Amen. And you can't beat him. Amen. Uh, I, I, I believe there was a, a guy who said uh, some kind of uh, play or something. Your, your, your arm's too short to box with God. Amen. Look, look at verse 7. Now, watch this. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. How, how, do I, how do I submit to him? By confessing his word. By walking in what he's called me to walk in. By declaring what he's called me to walk. I, I declare a thing, I decree a thing, and it shall be established. Amen. Are you hearing me? This, 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 should, this should work out right here. Amen. Now, go to Habakkuk chapter 2. <clears throat> Habakkuk chapter 2. And, and, and I'm just building my case. Watch this. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 4. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 4. And, and I'm going to read it to you from the New Living for the sake of time. Habakkuk 2 and 4 says, Are you there? Uh, look at the pride. Look at them. They trust in themselves. And their lives are crooked. Woo! Anytime you trust in yourself, you are prideful and your life is crooked. You live in a crooked life. Look, look, look. Look at me. Your life all over there. Look, this is the path. And, and, and when you look back, you're trying to figure out, how did I get all the way over here? I mean, destination right there, and you're over there. You're you living a crooked life. Amen? Amen. And, and, and let me give you another, another definition. It just, just jumped out. One says, you live in a life now where you're always scheming. You're a crook. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're always trying to scheme mm. to get what you want because you're full of pride. Are you hearing me? 
Amen. Yeah. You live in a crooked life. God didn't call his people to live no crooked life. Amen. Yeah, thank you, Straight is the path. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Are you hearing me? But every time you you got you gotta have a have a a way to say it. Right, let me come up with a, a good way to say this to him. Let me, let me come up with a good way, to, you know, so he won't really catch on to what I'm really trying to do. <laughs> let me let me come up with some kind of scheme instead of just coming out and saying like it is. Let, let, let me say this to you too. When when you are not prideful, uh, is that the way to say it? Let, let me tell you what pride will do. Let me tell, say it like this. Uh, pride will also uh, not allow you to confront people with the truth. Mm -hmm. You say, I'm not confrontational. I don't like to uh, mm. do, no, no. You're full of pride, mm. and you'd rather wow. let people think things are going well mm -hmm. instead of tell them the truth. No, I have mercy. Wow. That's pride. You, you'd rather let people believe you got it going on when you really don't. Mm -hmm. I, I, I know you have agreed to some things, and like all of us, we agreed to it. But at the time, when it's time to add it up, you don't have it, so you come up with some kind of scheme. So you won't look bad. So people won't be talking about you. Instead of you saying, listen, listen, I know I said I was going to do that today, but child, I just don't have it. I, I can't do it. Can, can you give me a little more time? Mm -hmm. you, you're living a crooked life. Listen, listen, and all that does is become a reflection on God because they say, mm, I'm supposed to be a Christian. Amen. Go, go ahead, go ahead, speak the truth in love that all of us can grow. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Are you here? Stop living a crooked life. Stop being so prideful that you think that you got to put something out there to protect your reputation. Are mm. y'all hearing me? Amen. Yeah. One of the worst things, I, I, I learned this on my job. One of the worst things I can do as a manager is not tell the people uh, that's working with me the truth. Amen. No, here's the truth, baby. You get this, this is what's going on. Because it's going to come back around. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. It's going to come back around. And, and, and I'm one of those people, I, I struggle with that because I, I, I guess I'm one of those people, I like to help, I like to do all I can do. And so I struggle with that. And I put myself in some bad places. Because I didn't want to look bad. I didn't want people to think I couldn't keep my word. Gets you off the path. It's a reflection on God. And listen, listen. I, I was having a conversation with, with my neighbor. He said, Well, you know, uh, that's a good man. I said, Listen, the heart of man is wicked. There are no good men. Mm -hmm. yeah. What? Yeah. I said, Stop saying it. Amen. Because it's Him working in us, giving us both the will and the desire to do what pleases Him. If it wasn't for Him, we wouldn't have the will nor the desire. Amen. 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 Well, good people. Because that same person that does something good for you will cuss you out. Amen. Push him or push him. Amen. So, so Habakkuk 2 and 4 says, look at the proud. They, they trust in themselves and their lives are crooked. But the righteous will live by their faithfulness to God. Amen. Live by your faith. Amen. Now, now, this fight is, uh, 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 there's a fight here that the believer has to go through every day. Amen? And if you want to see the victory, you have to be ready to do this fight. 1 Timothy chapter 6 and tw uh, uh, verse 12 uh, says that uh, we need to fight the good fight of faith. But notice here uh, in, in that uh, Timothy, let me, let me get there because <clears throat> he says, because you have professed and are professing. Look, verse 12 says, fight the good fight of faith. Uh, lay hold on eternal life. 
whereunto you are ca also called, and you have professed, you have confessed a good confession, what, before many witnesses. Mm -hmm. It's that confession that attack, uh, attracts the enemy, but it's that same confession that causes you to defeat the enemy and brings victory in your life. So, so you have to set the thermostat and you have to confess and continue to confess until it manifests. Hebrews 10 and 23. Hebrews 10 and 23. Notice what it says uh, real quick here. Let us hold fast our confession of faith without wavering for he is faithful that promise. Mm -hmm. Hebrews 10 and 23. So, so we have to hold fast to the, the confession. Amen? Right. And as we hold fast to it, it says, we don't waver. Yeah. And because we're not wavering, we're wavering, we're not wavering because of his faithfulness. Amen? Amen? He that promised is faithful. God is faithful. Amen? Amen? Amen. The most high Amen. is faithful. Now, 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 watch this. Number two, two reasons uh, that uh, 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 number two, the problem uh, with, with uh, living by faith. Faith is in direct conflict with human reasoning and thought. So, so number one, uh, faith will attract the enemy along with the promise. That's a problem. The second problem. Faith, the God kind of faith, is in direct conflict with human reasoning and thinking. Amen? Amen. You can't see it. I, I just can't see it. That don't make no sense to me. A Amen? Amen. <clears throat> 1993. 1993. Let's go back to 1993. My mother was in Spring Hill Memorial Hospital in the ICU. Diagnosed with Legionnaire's disease. And so they had to put her on a board that stayed cold to keep her temperature down. And so it was looking really bad. So we would get together and go into the chapel Back then, I believed that you had to, you know, really holler out to God because he couldn't hear you. You know, God is. Hearing not all that good. So you had to holler out, cry out. And so we, we were crying out, man. I come out that chapel and people be walking by looking like crazy people now, man. What are they doing? But we were calling out on the Lord every hour or, or whatever, right after visitation. Every time. And uh, so my sister, uh, Valessa, she a nurse. And so we would go, go back and we would pray. And I would tell everybody, oh, mother's fine. Uh, she's coming out of there. Everything's, everything's well. By stripes, she's healed. That's what I would tell everybody. And so my sister said, boy, do you see these numbers? Because you know they got the machine. She said, none of those numbers are good. I said, well, I don't live by numbers. I live by faith. I've set my thermostat. Thank you, Lord. I didn't know anything about thermostat back then, but I, this is the word that I have for my mama. Thank you, Lord. I said, now you can do what you want to with those numbers, but you better try to come over in here with me. And we're going to pray and believe God. And, you know, of course, she came on out. But it was a confession that we kept uh, two weeks. Two weeks in ICU. Every visitation, we, I would go in and I would, in her ear, Psalms 91. I would say it. Every every visit, certain people show up, you can't go in. 
Yeah. They come crying. Ooh, and nope, you can't see them. I made sure nobody was going in there that, you know, I don't, I don't know what I'm playing God, what I was doing, but you ain't going in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, have, I have a cousin of mine, Pentecostal, uh, holy, ho holiness woman, uh, never wore pants, just dressed, wouldn't ma wear makeup back then, wear the makeup now, but <laughs> wouldn't wear makeup. She, she told some another relative, if ain't many don't make it, he gonna lose his mind. <laughs> but we just kept saying what the word of God said. Yeah. And by his stripes she's healed. Amen. And here today. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. By his faith. Now, I wouldn't scream and holler like that anymore. Yeah. But I do the same thing. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I Amen. trust in God. Yeah. Amen. 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 Not so much, not so much of an octave, but I, I trust in God right there. So, so watch this. Number two, we, we, we had number two. Go with me to um, 2 Corinthians chapter ten. Second Corinthians chapter ten, and uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, for the sake of time, we're going to the New Living Translation. Second Corinthians ten. <clears throat> we're gonna start at verse three. Praise God. Now, notice here, notice here, uh, uh, faith is in direct conflict with human reasoning and thought. That, that's, the, that's the second problem. You got that? Mm -hmm. I, I can't hear you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Come on, talk to me. You got it? Mm -hmm. Faith is in direct conflict with human reasoning and thought. Mm -hmm. his, his ways are not our ways. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. It, it just it, it just direct uh, conflict, amen. amen. The, uh, 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 what is that? That's imminent, imminent. What is that? Uh, the scripture said that uh, is imminent. Uh, 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 yeah, it's, it's human human beings uh, imminent. I, I can't think of the scripture. Watch this. Watch this. Second uh, uh, Corinthians chapter ten, right? Mm -hmm. Verse three. Uh, we are human. We are human. You got it? Mm -hmm. don't, don't forget that. We are human. But we don't wage war as humans do. We don't fight like humans fight. We are human. Yeah. Yeah. But we don't fight like humans. We use God's mighty weapons. Not worldly weapons. To knock down the stronghold of human reasoning mm -hmm. and to destroy false arguments. Yeah. So what's the stronghold? Human reasoning, mm -hmm. human thought, human arguments. Yeah. My sister said, look at the numbers. Yeah. And in the medical world, those numbers are real. Those are based on human findings and facts throughout years of test. Wow. But where we are is in direct conflict with human arguments, reasons, thoughts, yeah. history, Come on. Yeah. science. Come on. Oh, y'all better hear me. Come on. Yeah. I know we listen, listen, we're in this world. But we're not of this world. Yeah. Glory to God. Amen. Yeah. I, 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 I know what they say it takes to get that done in the natural. Mm -hmm. By God, listen, that's some things that we do in the natural because we don't violate the law. But I'm telling you, when you start focusing on these weapons, when you start focusing on living by the faith of the Son of God, when you start focusing on, I'm praying. Come on, talk to me. Now human reasoning has to take a back seat. Amen. Uh, human arguments have to take a back seat. Listen, listen. You can't say God loves me just like he loves you. 
and so I can do what I want to do. Yeah. No, that's human reasoning. Amen. That's a human argument. You can't say all of us are God's children. That's not so. We are all God's creation. He created us all, but you're a child of God when you surrender your life to Jesus, yeah. Yeshua himself. Yeah. When you surrender to him and you live, listen, listen, he don't want to just be your savior. He wants to be your Lord. He wants to be the one who says, I have all rights, privileges, and authority to make decisions in your life. You live by my advice. You get my purpose. You walk out my Oh, listen. He says, listen, listen. I, I'm praying that you get this light now. Why? Because I want you to get the purpose of God to fulfill the call of God on your life. That's why you have Jesus in your life. He's your foundation. And because he's my foundation, I, 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 I really want to cuss you out. I'm a good cuss. <laughs> but he said, don't, don't let no communication come out of your mouth. So I'm not cussing. I stop. I stop cussing. I think about it. But I, 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 I cast down that imagination. Because I'm human, but I don't fight like I'm human. Amen. 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 Thank you. I got, I, I listen, got, got a safe full of weapons. But I'm not looking to use those. Amen. I use my other weapon. Don't try me. It's crazy. Don't try me. Cause I'm, I'm dealing with that creed more about eighty yards. <laughs> yes, sir. So, 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 watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Uh, we use God's mighty weapons, not worldly weapons, to knock down the strongholds of human reasoning mm -hmm. and to destroy false arguments. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Verse five says, "We destroy every proud." obstacle that keeps people from knowing God. Mm -hmm. Every proud obstacle. That, that's human reasoning. That's human arguments. Those are the proud obstacles. The way we think, the way we reason, brings about pride. He says we knock down every obstacle that keeps people from knowing God. We capture their rebellious thoughts, that is again, and teach them to obey Christ. Do you see that? Watch this, watch this. Verse 6. And after you have become fully obedient, how, 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 how do we become fully obedient? Talk to me. How do we, how do we become fully obedient? Based on what I just read you. How do we become fully obedient? Take care of every thought that is off the self against the knowledge of God. So when your thought life lines up, you got it? When your thought life lines up, you become fully obedient because when you start thinking right, you live right. When you believe right, you live right. Yeah, I mean. Do you see that? Does that help you? Amen. When, when, listen, when you get your thoughts in line, everything else will line up. Yeah. Now, I'm telling you, man, you, you don't, I don't know, you, you just don't know the thoughts I have. When it comes to ministry and doing whatever God has called me to do, I have to fight. But, but I have to use this every day. Amen. I have to use it every day. I, I, listen, listen, listen. The reason why if any of you are in here now and you're dealing with your, your confidence level being low, that is, that's the solution. Thank you, Lord. If, you, if you're not self-confident, if, if, you, if you don't have that, you, you know, I'm confident in who I am, confident in what I've been called to do, this is it. 
And the enemy attacks you there all the time. He will tell you all day long that you you ain't nobody. Don't nobody care nothing about you. Oh Lord have mercy. As a man of all they don't all they want you to do is pay the bills, ain't nothing. And you, if you're going to get something you need, you're going to get it yourself. Ain't going to do it. And you let that sit there. You let that sit there. And it gets bigger and bigger. And oftentimes, that's why we strike out. I mean, at people. Because it, it has built up to a point. Now, here it is. Instead of casting it down, bring it into thought, uh, subjection to Jesus Christ. Instead of doing that, you let it build. And it messes with your confidence. It messes with the man or the woman that you God has called you to be. And he says, this is the answer. He says, now what I want you to do is I want you to become fully obedient. Because we walk it. And everybody sees us walking. But they can't see what's in here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we look confident when we're out and about. Come on. When you get in a crowd... You can say stuff that sounds confident, but don't nobody see what's going on in here and in here. Amen. So you're not fully obedient until you get these in line with what you're doing, with your actions. Amen. 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 And when you do that, I promise you, you're going to see victory. Now, let's go to Daniel chapter 3. Does that make sense to you? Amen. So, so the God kind of faith uh, the, 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 the faith of Yah will get you out of the most difficult situations or into what others say can't be done. Mm -hmm. Daniel chapter 3. Boy, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. That's, is, is that good? Amen. Y'all come on, tell me, tell me, tell me, talk to me now. You, you got to get this. You, you got to get this. I want, you, I want you to write this down. Uh, uh, make sure that uh, you, you got all of that down on the inside of you. Right. Amen. 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 Daniel chapter 3. Thank you. Mm. Ooh, Lord. Ooh, Lord. Ooh, Lord. My time. My time. Then nobody set the clock for me, so uh, Daniel chapter 3. <laughs> Verse 15. You, you, you know this story well. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Everybody know that story, right? Mm -hmm. uh, verse 15 says, Now if, uh, this is, this is uh, Nebuchadnezzar talking to them. Now if you be ready that at the uh, time you hear the sound of the cornet, cornet flute, harp, sackback, psaltery, sulf, and dulcimer, and all kinds of music, you fall down and worship the image which I have made well, but if you worship not, you shall be cast into uh, the same hour into a, the midst of a burning fiery furnace. And who is that God that shall deliver you out of my hand? So watch this. You have trouble. Devastating trouble. And they are now facing this fiery furnace. So you either go to your pride or you go with God. You either go with what's going to save you in the natural, or you set your thermostat and trust God. Amen. Thank you. Mm -hmm. One way or the other. Amen? Amen. Now, verse, verse, verse 16 says, and uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered, watch the answer, and said to King, uh, king to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are kept. I like that. And watch this, Mother. They said, we don't even have to have a meeting. <laughs> we, we, we don't have to get together and talk. We don't have to huddle. Yeah. See, we, we're, not, we're not even careful to answer thee in this matter. We, we're, we're not pausing. We're not taking any thoughts about it. We, we, I, I, look, I don't have to go pray. Verse 17 says, if it be so, our God who we serve is able to deliver us from the burning furnace, uh, fiery furnace, 
and he will deliver us out of thy hand, O king. Listen, listen. Get the, the God kind of faith will get you out of anything here. No matter how devastating it might be, the God kind of faith. Listen, they, the boy said, we don't have to have a meeting. We're, 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 we're going to get out of this thing with no problem. Are you hearing me? Go, go real quick, 1 Corinthians, and I'm, I'm going to quit. 1 Corinthians chapter 3. First Corinthians chapter 3, verse number 10. And I, I think this was, I wrote in my notes, start here, but I'm finishing here. Uh, uh, I wanted you to see this because I, I wanted you to know about the foundation. I think I quoted it uh, at the beginning. But I wanted you to see it. 1 Corinthians 3 and 10. 10 and 10 through 11. According to the grace of God which is given unto me as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation and another buildeth thereon. Uh, but let every man take heed how he buildeth thereupon. So, so watch this. Watch this. Every one of us are building. Amen. Every one of us are building. Now, are you building on the foundation that is Christ? Amen. Verse 11 says, there is no other foundation that can be laid other than the foundation which is Christ. What, 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 what advice are you building on? Remember that word foundation? The definition is advice. Whose advice are you building on? Are you building on the world's advice? Your friends' advice? Social media advice? What's trending? Come on, talk to me. You have to build on his advice. That word foundation also means purpose. You must live his purpose out in your life. We fulfill his purpose. Oh, have mercy. Let me see something. Let me see something. Glory to God, I'm trying to find Glory. Y'all don't go nowhere. to uh, Ephesians verse uh, Ephesians 3 Ephesians 3 Ephesians 3 you there? Amen. Say, say you there. Yeah. Come on, come on. I'm, 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 I'm closing. I'm, I'm, I'm closing my book. Watch this. I, I'm done. I'm done. Here we go. Uh, uh, Ephesians chapter 3 ver verse 14 for, for this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man in the inner man get your thoughts right. Get, get your heart right. The Holy Spirit, let the Holy Spirit deal with that so, so you can be fully obedient. Amen? It's not just a show on the outside. You get, you, are you hearing me? Yeah. It's, it's not just a show. What, 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 what you see is what you get. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> a, a, amen? amen. Alright, watch this. Watch this. 
Verse, verse 17 says that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith. That you being rooted and grounded in love. Here it is. May be able to comprehend with all the saints. What is the breadth and the length and the depth and the height. And to know the love of Christ which passes knowledge. That you might be filled with all the fullness of God. And now unto him. Listen, listen, when you get your thoughts, your heart in line with the, with the outside, you're going to experience all of him, the fullness of him, and guess what happens? Then you'll start seeing exceeding Amen. abundantly above all you can ask, think, or even imagine. Did you get anything out of that word today? Amen. Come on, come on. Amen. Come on, come on. 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 Above and above. All that you can ask to think. Listen, for those of you who are, are joining us by social media, if you don't know Jesus as Lord and Savior of your life, today is the day Amen. that you make him Savior, that you make him Lord. Amen. Say this with me. Y'all say it too. Ready? Here we go. Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. Father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I believe. I believe. That Jesus. That Jesus died for my sins. Died for my sins. And according to the scripture. And according to the scripture. After three days. After three days. He rose again. He rose again. I receive him. I receive him. Right now. Right now. As my Savior. As my Savior. And Lord. And Lord. In Jesus name. In Jesus Amen. If you said that uh, and you meant it from your heart, listen, believe me, you're born again. Hit us up on the inbox. And as Minister Hill said, you've been watching for a while. You need to come on in here and join us. The doors of Spirit True Christian Center are open. Praise God. Amen. It's offering time. How y'all feel about getting Woo! Yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord. Listen, listen, I, I wrote it down so I won't miss anything. I had Pastor Jackie do it for me. Uh, Listen, there's four ways you can give. Uh -huh. Number one, PayPal. Uh, if you're going to do PayPal, it's Spirit and Truth Christian Center at gmail.com. Spirit and Truth Christian Center at gmail.com. Cash app, dollar sign, Spirit and Truth CC. Dollar sign, Spirit and Truth CC. Church app, text, pound, or hashtag STCC to 542. Four, four. Mm -hmm. Hashtag STCC to 54244. That is the most secure way to give. The fourth way, you can mail it in. P.O. Box 632, Mount Vernon, Alabama, 36560. P.O. Box 632, Mount Vernon, Alabama, 36560. Praise God. Listen, and there's nothing that giving and sowing in the good ground. Listen, Amen. if we sown unto you spiritual things, it is not wrong for us to reap your corner things. Amen. So sow your seed today. Believe God. And don't forget, follow the link uh, at the bottom of the page and join us on uh, uh, YouTube. Subscribe there. Hit the bell so you'll get the notice every time we upload a video. God bless you and keep you as our prayer. Amen. Come on. Y'all give Amen. God Amen. praise for our